What's up guys? I'm gonna rate this patch and react to this patch. Um, this is from a perspective from someone who plays anti-mage a lot as you can see. Um, you can say this is my like main. Alright, I'm just gonna go over items and the anti-mage so this video doesn't go for like 10 hours. Maybe if you want, uh, you can type it in the comments if I should go against the lane counters and like the the carry counters and the matchups and stuff, how this impacts the hero. But I think this, I don't want to make a video that's three hours long. So yeah, let's just jump right into the gameplay update. Um, this is just for solo queue, so um, stuff like captain's mode, like here, I will skip alternate alternative cast abilities auto cast okay who cares by the way um added a new stat slow resistance you don't really care about slows um stuff that anti mage doesn't really care about i will just skip status resistance no longer affects impact of slows skip Scan now has two charges, okay. Killing Roshan no longer grants control. Main jungle watchers for both Radiant and Dia have been moved to different locations. Okay, that's the first um big thing. Maybe I have I have to check out the new watchers, but the old watchers were quite nice for anti mage I have to say, because you could blink around them and the enemy will never catch you with their watchers. So the the placement of them in the past was very nice. I would have to see how the new ones are placed. But this could be huge. Adjusted adjusted the position of the triangle watchers, okay. Um moved outpost, okay. Now let's get into items. Cost decreased blood grenade. Mm -hmm. From sixty five to fifty max stacks initial stock decreased okay that's big restock time increased okay so overall less blood grenades but in the um in the uh, pub games the supports would uh, almost never uh, at least in my games they hardly buy a lot of blood grenades they buy like one or two at the start and then they are done so the cost decreased might make them buy more blood grenades so just first impression i think less blood grenades in pro games but more in pubs because they're cheaper s s s uh, this guy's duration increased while the caster is okay 10 seconds more ah uh, this can be big because the enemy had a really hard time uh, finding you when you were split pushing and farming. So the extra 10 seconds m might get you caught off guard. Um, while the caster is still disguised, any allies that come within 300 range of them will also get the buff. Each smoke can only be applied once to allies. Okay. Um, this means that uh, because you wanted the the your team to smoke as four and you want to show on the lane which was a quite effective strat in the mid to late game so the enemy doesn't really know where you are so you can still uh push out the lanes and then just blink to your smoked ally and go with them so that's a, a nice change that's a good change for you. Consuming thing, okay. I can blink. Okay, Battle Fury, boys. Battle Fury needs. I don't know, it doesn't need buffs, but let's see. Damage bonus increased from 60 to 65. Okay, five more. Query bonus damage against non hero units from melee. Heroes decreased from 15.6 to 10.5. 
Okay, so you get the same damage against creeps, but five more damage against heroes. That's that's whatever. I think ninety percent of your damage goes towards creeps. So if you can kill creeps faster, it's good. Um so yeah, mini 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 buff. These are the items you do not buy. Lincoln's transfer spell block from multiple sources now refreshes the buff instead of applying multiple blocking multiple spells. Okay, so no more uh unkillable Medusa forty minutes with six Lincolns on top of her which you can target. So yeah. Nice change. Chain lightning now deals hundred and fifty damage to illusions. To illusion okay. Um I'm really happy they, they are doing something to illusions because get them out of my game. Naga, PL, it's not fun. I know AM playing against AM is also not fun, but I don't care. Uh, MKB, you get this sometimes decreased. Yeah, that's whatever. You get nearly a lot actually, like the Threats, Battle Fury, Scardi. PKB nullify build is extremely strong. No longer purchase debuff immune targets. Okay. Hmm. That's a that's a nerf. Uh, to okay, nice. Get illusion heroes out of my games, please. Illusions. Yeah, they really want to do something against illusions. That's nice. Mm, now this is uh, item you get a lot. Bonus increased, twenty-five to thirty. Thirty to thirty-five. Okay. So you get with Basha and new Battle Fury, you have ten more damage. Okay, that's a small, nice change. I would say not really big. Doesn't help you. Okay, I will only go over the neutral items that. I will pick in games. Mm. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Magic resistance bonus. Okay, that's a small enough. This is okay. Have regen bonus increased from plus three to plus four. Okay. So just s something small about the tier one neutral items. Mm. When you get broom handle, you pick broom handle because you have um, the 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 choice is how active do you wanna be. For example, I have no good mana void target. I really don't wanna engage in fights. I just wanna be alone and farm. Then actually, the seed is not bad. That's a good choice because then you can farm the neutral camps before you have Battle Fury a lot more efficiently. You can actually kill these big camps and um, get away with it and show in lane maybe. Because when you pick like the bracelet or the pick bowl and you are not really active, you don't want to fight, then it's just wasted because where you get so low by jungling that you can't show on lane that like you are on like 200 HP and uh, support randomly showing up can solo kill you. So for these kind of games where you just want to jungle and be AFK, that is, you can actually pick the seed. Or also when I get really bad choices, I get the shovel. I know it sounds crazy, but I get the shovel or the seed but I will always get the broom handle because it gives armor so you can also farm more efficiently and it gives the damage which you need. So I would say the tier list is number one, of course, broom handle and then everything else is situational. Okay, dragon scale you get sometimes, no longer applied by reason. Okay, that's good. You don't care about this really. But the uh, Naga of pushing with this was annoying, so nice change. 
Aquila, okay, you still will get the Aquila a lot of times. Or attribute bonus, uh, you don't get this. Vambrace, okay, a small enough. Does this doesn't really change anything? Sliver, um, okay, nerf, hmm. but it's still good, I think. Vindicators X. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but X is kind of kind of pretty nice on anti mage. Attack speed. Who doesn't like it, uh, burning more mana and the Giga armor when you're stunned? Underrated item, guys. This really look at this item when you are on level three, uh, level three neutrals. Really think about it. This is not a bad choice. Um, okay, who cares? Ninja gear. Here we go. Fixed, not providing smokes bonus movement speed. Yeah. yeah I, I thought that there was a problem with that sometimes. Agility bonus decreased. Uh, that's bad. Movement speed bonus. Okay, the movement speed was also nice. So nerf to your probably most picked uh, neutral spell prism that was like third third the third choice I think behind cloak attribute bonus decreased mana bonus decreased okay so nerf to one nerf to the second and a nerf to the third. Okay, so your tier four items all got nerfed, hmm. but the tier, th yeah, maybe you keep you even keep slip, but the gear, the smoke is so value. I think you still go go for ninja gear then. Maybe the the cooldown redu the reduction of prism got better because trickster cloak got worse and you only picked spell prism for the cooldown reduction so maybe spell prism is now uh, the second best tier 4 item behind ninja gear and trickster cloak is still free but i will have to play like 20 games to see this okay now we get to the changes um what i am expecting what i need is some help in the first 10 minutes which means i need some stats i need some more health regen um you are like a melee creep in the first 10 minutes so you just need something just a little bit that you can maybe not lose 99 percent of your lanes when you are support is playing bad which is every game so i just don't want to get kicked out every single time in my lane and uh, like um, if i get kicked out i at least want to jungle so the the biggest problem is you lose the lane um and then you can't jungle because you have brown boots and a rave band. So now you're stuck. Your lane, your game is pretty much over. Because you, ca you, you can't go to a lane. The jungle creeps are killing you. So it's GG. So I just need some help for this phase of the game. Like some stats. Maybe some health regen. That's what I wish for. Um... And the second thing I think is they will change up the talents because the level 15 talents are trash. Uh, I think the abilities are quite fine. I don't, I wouldn't change the abilities. Uh, they're good as they are. X is I don't know if they can change the X and the shard. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's see. Okay, they I got a shard. Okay, they rework the shard, but I don't see any stats here. Hmm. 
my wish didn't come true but let's see the the chart um previous effect removed okay so no more 90 percent uh, unkillable um anti-mage in the late game 90 percent magic resist now creates an illusion of anti-mage next to an enemy caster upon reflecting their spell illusion deals 75% damage and takes 100% damage and okay so they will not kill an anti-mage illusion in 4 seconds deals 75 hmm that's that's a strong illusion that's a strong spell that's a that's a, a better shot I think than the old one that's overall a buff I would say Counter spell ally. New ability granted by shard. Okay. So creates a counter spell shell around the target ally within 600 range. Okay, so you have to be pretty, pretty close. The shell simulator creates an illusion of anti mage print. Okay, a very high skill uh, cap spell. Um, but you still get the AM reflection, which is probably the strongest. I don't think there's a hero that has a, a stronger illusion. Um, cooldown, same as regular counter spells. So, mm, but that's more like a off lane AM kind of shard, I would say. Because this is like in the same tier of power level a bit better than the old but not like really hero defining so this is like the same as the old chart you're happy when you get it from the tormentor you're even more happy now but i don't think you want to fit the chart into your item progression even with this chart because you in every game you need so many items and you really don't wanna don't wanna waste your gold on a shard so this is like a, a nice small change nothing more okay so let's get to the talents level 10 talent minus one second blink cool replaced with 150 mana void radius uh, that's uh, that's rough uh, I really really don't like this change guys the, the, the hitting level 10 on anti mage was always a very interesting point in the game because um I would say in 80 to 90 percent of games you would pick the blink cooldown talent but you always had to think about it on level 10 because um, I'll just uh, give the example of um, void you have the faceless void on the enemy team so and you hit 10 you get you have the the you have uh, threats um, Battle Fury, maybe a, a, a Yasha on the way, and now you have to think about okay, can I survive the Chrono when I get the Strength Talent? If they have overwhelming damage, still I, I will still get Blink, but if I can survive like a, a Chrono and can split push safer because of it, and split and be in the same area as Void is because I'm now not scared anymore that he can solo kill me I will get the strength so you really had to think about your choice at level 10 most of still most of the times you chose blink cooldown because I wanna farm faster I wanna get to my timings faster I wanna split push more efficiently I wanna be faster so I get blink cooldown but still it was an interesting choice and now it is between strength and mana void radius how often do you need mana void radius 
radius. Never. So you always get level 10 strength now. And level 15 talent. Okay, they move the they switch the ma radius with the blink cooldown so you go strength blink and then level 20 mana voyage damage multiplier. Okay, I don't know if that's enough. I'm thinking not. Maybe they want to make a mana void build viable, but that's not really the hero. Mm, and level 20 blink cast range decreased. I have no idea why they did this. The hero was. It's not really good. They don't have to nerf one of the best talents which made it uh, viable because you really needed all the range you got for like these snipers and stuff because you really count a sniper but i don't know if the 50 range will be it will matter of course but how much is the question so you go blink uh, you go strength into blink talent into blink talent into mana void talent level 30 you are a lot stronger now because your mana void does more damage and there's yeah more radius but it had it before yeah, yeah. all right so overall i will not go over anything else i think um I can if you want in the comments I can make a whole video about lane counters and stuff as I said in the beginning but I would give this uh, patch for as an anti mage main um like a uh, 1 out of 10 like that's I think for off lane anti mage uh, counter spell Mana Void route maybe can be interesting, but not for the carry. So, yeah, not really happy. Bye.